everybody from YouTube. I just got back from fishing on Saturday at Pelham, Lake Pelham in Culpeper or Pelham Reservoir, some people call it. You can actually see this lake uh, right off of Route 29. If you ever drive around Culpeper, you'll, you'll see it right from the highway there. And uh, it is a, a little gem of a lake. It's about 255 acres. It is for kayaks and small boats with electric motors only. No gas powered motors on there. And it's one of my favorites. Um, it is owned by the uh, city of Culpeper. So as usual, you're gonna have to pay a fee to get access to the lake. Now you can, you can buy a pass uh, at a little trailer down there by the marina. Usually somebody's in there. Uh, you can buy it from them or you can, I think you can buy it from that country store that's right next to the marina. So you can get yourself a pass for a year, it's 25 bucks. But it's definitely wor worth it. It's a really, really nice uh, a little lake to, uh, to kayak fish from. So best bet in there is going to be bass. Uh, it's also known for its, uh, for its catfish as well, if you like the catfish. But uh, I went out there on Saturday and, uh, you know, I did this time of year, I'm doing the whole pre-spawn thing, fishing deeper water, uh, you know, looking for structure in deeper water, structure near the channel, you know, at the mouth of coves in, in deeper water. Uh, you know, with the whole pre-spawn type strategy. And I can tell you this, I had it all wrong. <laughs> I had it all wrong. I just by accident happened to fish in about literally two feet of water and I was catching, that's where the bass were. The bass were in the shallows. <laughs> they were in the shallows and they were near matted vegetation and it was like a reactionary type hit. Uh, I was actually caught them on a, um, on a jackhammer uh, chatterbait um, which seems to be a great lure. So they, they were literally hitting that thing. As soon as it would hit the water, they would nail it. And they were underneath, right on the edge of the matted vegetation. Uh, that's pretty much all over that lake. So one tip I wanted to give everybody, if you go on the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources site, and if you look up these lakes, there is usually a biologist report. Um, and I would encourage you to take a look at that because a lot of times in these biologist, biologist, biologist reports, uh, you can get a lot of gold nuggets on how to fish that particular body of water. You know, they spend a lot of time out there and they, they do the sampling and, and they, they, they get a lot of tips from locals and you can get some really gold, great gold nuggets out of those reports. This report, if you look at it, for Lake Pelham is exactly where I was catching the bass. It was matted vegetation, it was a reactionary strike, and that's kind of what they put in their report. So check out the report on the site if you have a chance. And like I said, you can get some gold nuggets out of there. Even if it's an old report from a couple of years ago, it's still worth reading. So anyways, had a lot of fun out there, caught a couple of bass, caught one nice one, and uh, it was pretty cool. So if you get a chance, check out Lake Pelham. Anyways, let's get to the action. just to kind of get a reactionary strike or see if we can get a reactionary strike out of the bass here. Shut the motor off, let me drift. This is in my way. cover under here. We'll 
feet of water. edge of this right and you can see this vegetation here so the bass are for whatever reason they're in this vegetation we're on the edge of it so um, that seems to be working today so I'm gonna work this whole edge here and see if I can get a couple more of these bass out of here but that's kind of where they're at right now that's uh, a bit surprising okay guys my GoPro doesn't seem to be running but I just caught that bass in literally two feet of water under some vegetation uh so i was a bit surprised it was a beautiful fish really nice healthy bass fat bass beautiful fish so cool stuff got them on the chatterbait okay everybody uh, i'm gonna leave you with some pictures here from uh, lake pelham like i said check it out it's a great little lake for kayak fishing and culpepper uh next time i am going to be uh, heading out to lake mooney uh, down near Fredericksburg. I'll be heading out there uh, this Saturday, so uh, stay tuned for another video. Thanks again for watching.